Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Calamity Endgame Weapon Showcase. Today we are going to be looking at three weapons that have been so highly requested. The most highly requested, of course, is the Yarm's Crystal, but we also have the Dark Spark and the Last Prism. So we're going to take a look at all three of these since they're very similar, and we're going to compare them and see how they do. So we've got a super dummy over here, and let's go ahead and try out the Last Prism. For those who don't know, the Last Prism is a drop from the Moon Lord, and it's a vanilla weapon, and one of the most iconic vanilla weapons. It can do some pretty awesome damage, like right here you can see it's built up to a be about 10 or 11,000. The really good thing is that if you put a bunch of super dummies in a row, it can do really good damage to all of them. Right here you can see the Last Prism with all the equipment I've got on right now has a damage of 280. The Dark Spark has a damage of 328, 92% critical strike chance, very fast speed, no knockback, uses 6 mana, which is actually a little bit less than the Last Prism, which uses 8 mana. The cool thing about the Dark Spark is it actually does kind of the opposite of the Last Prism. It starts with a beam, and then it slowly spreads out and forms like a larger area. And then it goes rainbow. It's pretty awesome how many different effects it's got. I really like how this one looks like it's doing like a spinning effect. Once when it turns into the rainbow effect, it's actually doing most damage. So it's doing like 22,000 even with my mana sickness, which is pretty impressive. And it's really not draining my mana that much. I'm not using as many potions as I thought I would. And let's see what the Dark Spark can do against target dummies and see if it does piercing in the same way. And yep. It does the same type of piercing, which is pretty awesome. Now the last is the Yarm's Crystal. Let's take a look at how much damage this can do. 380,000, 390,000, 400,000. And this is a weapon that you can obtain before defeating Supreme Calamitous. It's a drop from Yarn the Jungle Dragon. And the tooltip for this shows 1,149 magic damage, 92% critical strike chance, very fast speed, no knockback, uses 10 mana, and it says fires a draconic beam of total annihilation. And I think that's pretty accurate. One thing that's really consistent between these three weapons is the crazy amount of mana that they require. So definitely have a lot of mana potions ready. And then there's also this accessory which does unlimited mana and that's a Louis AFK thing. So we'll try that as well. Let's see how much damage this can do when we have unlimited mana. So it's like 450,000 damage, pretty impressive. And the infinite piercing really has a lot of utility in so many circumstances. So this is definitely a great weapon. I've seen it used a lot at the very start of the Supreme Calamitous fight to destroy the orbs. In fact, we can try this on Supreme Calamitous in just a little bit. Let's take a quick look at how these weapons perform on bosses. So here we are with the Providence boss. It's not doing that much damage. I wouldn't probably use this compared to some of the other weapons. I mean, it's all right. So. You could probably defeat Providence on your first time with this, but I would probably use like the Effervescence instead. And then here's the Dark Spark, doing pretty well. A lot more power than the Last Prism. In fact, already it's starting to ramp up its damage quite a bit. And I like that the range is so good and it just spreads out so it's so easy to keep those hits going. And it just makes it kind of feel like super exciting with all of the visual effects. And let's, now let's go ahead and use Yarm's Crystal and finish this off. So that's pretty dang good. Let's see how this does against the Devourer of Gods. So here we go. Once when it turns into that beam, there's no stopping it. And let's just get this beam going before we get the second form. That way we can start this off doing full damage. There we go, very powerful. Now let's take a quick look at how to obtain these weapons. The Last Prism is just a drop from the Moon Lord like I would mentioned earlier, and the Dark Spark is the upgrade to the Last Prism. All you need is Dark Plasma, the Ruinous Souls which you get from the Poltergast, and the Divine Geodes which you get from Providence. For the Yarm's Crystal, it's a little bit more tricky. You need to basically just farm up Yarin the Jungle Dragon a ton since it's a 1% drop rate. So it will take quite a while to obtain, but it's definitely such a unique weapon that you'll feel pretty awesome once when you get it. 
Now let's go try this out on Supreme Calamitous and see what sort of damage it can do. I've switched back to the sponge instead of using unlimited mana so we can see just how this normally would perform including the mana sickness effects. Let's get this fight started. Okay, here we go. So we can knock these out pretty quickly. And are we doing damage to Calamitous yet? No, I think we missed one up here. There we go. But let's see how well this does. I mean, this is so easy to keep the hits going. Very nice. I was worried this would be hard to keep targeting on Supreme Glamatus, but she moves so linearly that it's really pretty simple. Oh, we got some adrenaline. Nice. And even with mana sickness, we are doing some really good damage. And we'll just stand right here, knock this guy out pretty quickly. He's not even like coming up very fast. Oh, and he still hits me though. <laughs> and maybe I'll just let my health regenerate for a second here. And let's knock him out. Okay, and we've almost got Rage up, and Supreme Calamitous is after us. Oh, we've almost got Adrenaline up too. Hopefully we can... Oh, there, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I was going to jinx myself. There we go. I think we got that side done. And let's get this side. There we go. Let's finish her off. And we got the Endogenesis, very nice. And of course, Vemence, since we're playing this on Revengeance mode. So that was actually a very simple way to defeat Supreme Calamitous. And that was with the Mana Sickness and everything, and a ton of mistakes there. But this is probably one of the easiest weapons I've used pre-Supreme Calamitous to defeat Calamitous. The last thing I wanted to do is try the Yarm's Crystal out on the boss rush and just see how this performs. It's a bit challenging to keep it hitting, but it's not too bad. For a pre-Supreme Calamitous weapon, it's probably one of the better ones. It's gonna do really well against Brain of Cthulhu, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah. The piercing aspect of it really did well against the first phase of the Brain of Cthulhu. There we go. Excellent. And let's do a damage test against the King Slime. 500,000 DPS. Pretty dang good for pre-Supreme Calamitous. Just for fun, let's switch the uh, unlimited mana accessory on so we can see the full damage that this thing can do. There we go, I think I saw it get up to 600,000 when it was charging us. Now we got Skeletron Prime, and let's see how this can do. Pretty good. I mean, there's so many good magic weapons, but this one, it's very well known and well loved. And rightly so, it's extremely powerful for pre-Supreme Calamitous. This is a really fast golem clear for pretty much any weapon.
One thing I really like about the Yarm's Crystal is that it doesn't lag the game very much at all, actually. So it's the same amount of lag as you would get from the last prism. And it is such a cool weapon. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do other Terraria content, like I'm currently working on a Death Mode Calamity Mage playthrough. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.